can you speak a little more about being free from the past? What is the past? You tell me. So I am someone who is just experiencing life for the first time. And you explain to me, what is the past? What is it? It's an idea. So in other words, an idea just arose in my head. Is that the past? Yes. <laughs> Gotcha. something that really struck me that I read once in a profound text was the memory does not prove the past just because like you talk about the black box in our head just because we have this idea of memory doesn't prove that the past is a real thing you know it is so obvious really if you look for the past not looking to the mind story, but look for the past. What you find is the present. When you look for the future, not a story, but the future itself, what you find is the present. When you feel what is present and you try to feel into something called the past, it is so obvious there's no such thing. That there is nothing prior to the present. There never ever has been. There is the life which is lived out of a conditioned fantasy. That is the common life. That is what defines the experience of me and creates the whole gestalt of the experience of karma. But it is all a complete and total facade. It's always now. There is a story of a past and a story of a future and you wipe out the story and what you have is what you always have now. At a certain point, it's like a light bulb goes off. And it is no longer possible to believe something that is so obviously false. You are not in time. The body is a manifestation, an appearance, just like all phenomena. It is an object that appears when the subject is tracking the object. When the subject is at rest and the attention is equally everywhere, there is no object to be found. There may be the appearance of an object, but it is very clear it is no different than a hologram. In a hologram, there's not something real. It's an appearance. Time is an appearance. There is no such thing. No matter how many times it is received, Probably 95, 99% of the life, 
there is a taste of what is unchanging, but in the foreground there is the experience of the movement of time. This only occurs because of the part of you that is identified with a prop called my body. When the body is removed from the equation, are you removed? Are you removed when the body that has been called me based on the story of the mind, when that is removed, are you removed? Of course you are not removed. What is removed? Time. Story. Problems, identity. What remains? Reality. As soon as body starts to engage in action, foremost there is the feeling of doing. What does that mean? It means forgetting. There is a kind of intensity to vigilance which is necessary to break the addiction which breaks the spell. It can be seen over and over and over again. There can be some kind of mental understanding that is carried throughout the life, but understanding anything mentally is part of the illusion. The self is now. There is nothing aside from the self. You are a fantasy. The thing about it is when you discover the fantasy of you, then you discover yourself. It's just not someone. It's not an object. It's the beauty that the object is searching for and will never find because the object is the myth of time. When one really begins to get it, the reflection of your awareness in which there is no one there, which is very clear, is an appearance, the appearance of the body, stops asking questions about the past or the future. Because it is not only irrelevant, it is illusion. Right now, there is very clear taste of reality. The habits of seduction are so deeply ingrained 
and they arise in such sophisticated and frequent patterns. It is about being ready. It's not about the future. It's not about achievement. It's only about reality. Staying in reality, staying still. It is not effort. It's relaxation. When the letting go of the illusion of past is really rooted, what becomes apparent is that what seems to be happening now is not happening at all. It's just phenomena. In constant motion, which occurs over time, and it is the more subtle forms of the habit of living in time that create the experience that something is happening now. Because in order for something to be happening now, there has to be subtle. alignment with the body, subtle form of marriage to the body. But when attention is completely present, it is tasting that which is everywhere. What is everywhere is contained by nothing. There's no individual in it. Where there is no illusion of an individual, then what is happening? can't say love is happening, light and joy, beauty, peace. The unchanging nature of the self.
when true connection happens, the discovery is that we are one. The realization of the way it has always been because there's no such thing as time. When you discover yourself, how can you possibly live in the illusion of time? The thing of it is that I live inside of you. There is only one. The recognition that is awake inside of you transmits these words. There is no need to seek. It comes from within you. The illusion that a teacher is teaching and the student is sitting is all phenomena. Beauty, the arising of this question. This is the first time in this retreat that this level of stillness has appeared. And feel how this is the nectar the nectar of reality, the nectar of the self, what is timeless. Thank you all for satsang.